Okay, uh, we're going to do a rodeo hat, a uh, bull rider, bronc rider hat. This is an American brand hat, poly hemp, made in Texas. Um, not an inexpensive straw hat, $105. Um, the thing about American straw hats is they use a premium lacquer over their straw bodies compared to a lot of companies. Um, it's a petroleum-based lacquer where less expensive hat companies um, use a water-based lacquer. So uh, these things are a little different to work with, but uh, you've never seen a straw hat that can take abuse like an American straw hat. Is that because of the lacquer? It's I mean, because of the lacquer. Basically, all hat companies buy their bodies in the same place. It's how they finish their bodies and size their bodies that makes a difference in a straw hat. Because of uh, the body that this hat is, we're going to do something that's unique. And we're going to use a heat gun to soften this hat to work on it. You can do it with steam, but I've had better luck with a heat gun. What's the biggest change you've seen when it comes to straw hats over since, since you've been working with hats in your business? Um, the styles tend to change more drastically and more rapidly because in general they're less expensive hats. Um, But the biggest change I've seen is, let's turn this off so you can hear me. The biggest change I've seen is there used to be ladies in Southern South America who would spend a whole week braiding a straw hat. And it was a very fine, tight weave and uh, a super premium hat. We used to call them Monte Carlo hats. Uh, apparently, South America has got industrialized enough that we can't get those quality, very fine straws, very fine weaves anymore. Is this more forgiving material? when it comes to certain things? No, absolutely not. It, uh, it is less forgiving because if you actually break a straw instead of bend a straw, you're in trouble. It's obvious that what you did. Um, okay, we're gonna try and get this heat gun back on. I'm going to work on the brim of this hat a little bit. Now let me warn you guys, don't grab any brand of hat you have laying around the house and use a heat gun on it because you could burn it up. This happens to be that this... Uh, the way these Americans are finished, it, they work well with a heat gun. Um, a lot of hats, you'll ruin them with a heat gun. So, going back to hat sizes again, like what's the smallest size hat to the largest size hat a person can, can get? And have you ever not been able to find, like someone has maybe a large, really large head, have you ever been able to or had to say to someone, sorry, I can't, I can't find a hat to fit you, I can't get one? Or does that not happen usually? Um, it happens in the larger size hats. Um, we're going to try a little steam on this side. Just like everything in the uh, apparel business, there's less sizes to choose from. Uh, and we especially have trouble now getting uh, children's hats that are sized for young people so they can 
the hat will actually stay on them when they're riding their horse. But American has stuck with a full size scale. Um, they go up to size eight and they will make hats all the way down to little kids uh, sizes. But again, American is a premium hat and a, uh, they've stuck with a lot of the old, old world traditions. Now there's a wire in this brim that helps this hat hold its shape. steam on this side. Are there certain brands or types of hats that you just won't even try to reshape because you because yeah, of the construction? Certainly. And then it's again it goes back to what we call our wool felts, our fifty to seventy five dollar hats, um, felt hats. It's just not worth the effort. Now we're just trying to bring the back down here and get a little curl on it, get it to stay. Do you have to hold a straw hat longer than you would a, a wool felt hat to hold to get it to hold in, in general? Yes. Yeah, I would say that's tr certainly true. Even a good one like this. And what's the life expectancy of this hat compared to the uh, hats we talked about earlier? Boy, certainly not as long. Um, somebody who uses this hat on a regular basis may get two seasons out of it. Depends on how many bulls step on it or uh, how many broncs step on it or that type of situation. And if they care for it, keep it out of the heat, keep it out of the humidity. So why would someone choose a straw hat versus a wool hat, felt hat? Well, they're certainly cooler in the summer. Um, the old cowboy rule of thumb is... Um, Memorial Day to Labor Day, you wear a straw hat, and Labor Day to Memorial Day, you you wear a felt hat. That's a pretty much an old uh, tradition that the old cowboys stick to. Um, but in Texas, New Mexico, you know you're going to see a lot of straw hats worn longer in the fall and earlier in the spring because of the weather changes. And Wyoming, northern Wyoming, northern Utah, you're certainly going to see felt hats uh, worn longer. But uh, another tradition is a straw hat is not a dress hat, and if you're going to uh, go into town, you're going to a wedding or a funeral, and it's the summertime, you're still probably going to put on your felt hat because that's considered your dress hat. So this hat looks pretty plain and basic, but this is the kind of hat you're going to see a guy coming out of shoot number three on tornado with. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple rodeo hat. Okay, so that gets stepped on by a bull. I've seen them dust their hats off. Will it still, I mean, they just have to... Pop it back pop out, it put okay. it on, okay. go to it. So this is your traditional... Uh, 
Now I'm assuming the lacquer helps keep them clean, but is there any special technique you have to do to clean these hats? On good straws, we recommend a, a lightly damp cloth to wipe the dust off with. Or take a dry brush, brush it off, and then use a lightly damp cloth to get the stains off of. So there's a gentleman's felt and a rodeo straw. Um, the guy may come in here, the rodeo guy say, no, I'm not dancing the sides, or no, I want the front a little lower. We're here to uh, give you what you want in a hat. But we're also here to advise you on what hat's going to hold up, what hat's going to do the job you're trying to do. But that's your that's your rodeo hat for the day.